Today we're going to be taking a look at the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector. This product is going to fit certain years and models of the Mazda CX-5. It's going to provide a four-way flat connector at the back of the vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. This is compatible with five-pole, six-pole, and seven-pole adapters. Adapters are sold separately. And it's going to come with a dust cap for the connector. That way you can cover up the connection points when the plug's not being used. It's also going to include a taillight converter. This is going to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches out of your trailers. This is going to connect directly to the battery through the wiring to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. This is going to be constructed using surface mount technology, which is going to offer consistent, reliable performance. What that does is it maximizes trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat, and it's going to ensure superior operation even in rough road conditions. Now the unit's designed to connect quickly and easily. It's going to come with detailed installation instructions to help walk you through that process step by step. But basically what you'll need to do is locate the connection points in the rear cargo area. You're going to have three connectors to get plugged in. Now this is a custom fit harness, so these plugs are going to match up perfectly with the ports on the vehicle. Um, so it looks like you're going to have one that goes to the passenger side and then the couple that connects over on the driver's side of the vehicle. Once you get those plugged in, You'll need to make your ground connection, your ground wires, your white wire with the ring terminal attached to it. You want to get that grounded to a nice clean metal surface using the included grounding screw. Then you'll need to mount your converter box. You want to get this mounted to a nice clean out of the way location and you can do that by using the double sided adhesive tape that's provided with the kit. Now once you get all that done, you'll need to run your hot lead to your vehicle battery. The hot lead is going to be the black wire right here. It's a short black wire coming out of the box. This needs to get connected to the bundle of black wire with one of the included butt connectors. The other end of the black wire gets another butt connector attached to it and that's going to connect to one half of the fuse holder. The other half of the fuse holder gets a ring terminal attached to it and that ring terminal gets attached to the positive post on the vehicle battery. This kit does come with your 10 amp fuse, it goes right here in the fuse holder and it's got the cap that goes over to keep it safe and secure. Now once your installation is complete, what I'd recommend doing is to go ahead and use uh, some zip ties to secure any excess or slacken the wiring, making sure that your wires are up and out of the way. Um, your four-way flat connector is going to be stowed in an out-of-the-way location within your cargo area. You've got plenty of wiring, that way you can extend it out the back of the vehicle and make your connection as necessary. But when the connector is not being used, you can roll it back up, store it in the cargo area and keep it safe from the elements until you're ready to use it again. It's going to be recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease on all your electrical connections. Like the plugs on the vehicle and the four-pole connector itself, what that grease does is it simply helps prevent corrosion to the connection points. So if you need some of that, you can find it at eTrailer.com. It is sold separately. When it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, we're looking at 3 amps per circuit. And for the tail lights, we're looking at 6 amps per circuit. That's going to do it for today's look at the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector.